Hello all. This is a new project that just come in and arrived this morning. It's a uh, Teledex TE6000 uh, based on obviously the Cybernet Mark 1 chassis. If you remember the series that we did on the Apollo AP701, again a similar radio, similar radio to the GEA model. Here we go, we'll uh, turn it on. Okay. TX, uh, we're in uh, lower sideband, we'll switch to there. Okay, so we've got power. Five watts on the bird. All up. All up. Okay, so we've got a tiny bit of swing. Let's switch it to lower sideband. All up. All up. So we've got about 12 watts, so it's, it's quite standard. Now, um, what are we going to do? What are the plans for this radio? We're going to do, if you have a look at the knobs, they're pretty well worn. The paints uh, come off it. The top's pretty bad. Again, all consistent with a radio of its age. We're going to do something a bit different here. We're going to do a series on um, at least my goal is, um, we're going to airbrush the finish so that it uh, comes up looking um, a bit, well, spanking new on the plastics. We can see that the covers need quite a bit of cleaning. The whole thing needs quite a bit of cleaning. And we'll do our best to, to bring it back. A um, bit of research I need to do on the face. As you can see, it's got a... Oh, let's see. We can bring that in. There's a lot of pitting around the edge of the, the display in the paint. Uh, one of the things that we're, I'm looking at doing there is either running a clear coat over the top of that to stop it from getting any worse or running a transparent film over the top of this. So, uh, what are we going to do? Well, the first thing, one of the first things we're going to do is do a full cap replacement on the, the radio. We'll put in, uh, we'll update the, the brights on this. We'll obviously put in a white LED. Um, the display needs quite a bit of cleaning from uh, the inside. Uh, a lot of scratches on the outside. So we'll clean that. And, yeah, looking forward to bringing it this series to you. Okay, now that we've confirmed that the radio works, the next stage is the strip down. Um, and we're going to take the covers off, we're going to take the fascia off, all the knobs off, uh, pull the display out, um, dismantle the microphone, uh, pull the shell apart, and put it into a uh, mixture of... Um, of cleaner and that cleaner consists of probably some Windex and a, uh, a, a very low strength degreaser uh, and dental mix. So that's where we're at. Thank you. All right, we're in the dismantling stage. Um, the radio looks reasonably good overall. First observations are, which is that um, somebody's worked on the radio. There's been, um, it's not too bad work actually. The whole board's been sprayed in PCB lacquer. A lot, a lot of work has been, reflow work has been done up in the back of the radio, uh, near the power supply, matching circuit. And there's also been some tracks that have been repaired here. And that's where the, the large capacitor is. There's also been some work done here on the uh, O2A. And there's been some work done on the VCO, which is all to be expected. And it's actually, uh, um, it's, it's quite nice work. I've been over the board with the, the 
magnifying glass. So far, it all looks relatively good. Uh, flip it over on this side. And front display. And it really doesn't look like it's been hacked with. It's just a standard radio. Now, I've got the face off. On the back of the, the face, you can see just in between, the goal here is to remove the, the front panel, if I can. And what I do is uh, just use a, a blunt instrument and I'll just pick up a tuning product and I slightly push there's a lip around each of the volume each of these pots here you can see that the little aluminium lip and I'm just slowly pushing each one of those and breaking the seal as we go around and the result is that we have whoops that we've got most of the face off. So the goal again is to let's remove that and get it into the cleaner. When I come I'll uh, just get and remove this. Thank you. Okay, plastic face is removed. Nothing to write home about there. You can see that. You can see the damage just from years of uh, sitting in moisture. And let's start work on it. Okay, um, pulled the chassis apart, replaced the LED, cleaned up the meter, and now we have the white LED. You can certainly, if you refer to the earlier photos, you can see how dim that was. So basically, you pull the chassis um, down. I just leave, I, I take out uh, the, these two screws here and here. Here, and I leave one in there so that I can rotate the panel forward. Pull out these two screws. Pull out the meter and trace the wires you can see down here and all I do is because both wires are, are white is I work out which one is positive and negative and I put a red line on one and black on the other and then heat shrink all of my connections which are done down here. All right, um, moving along. Thank you. Hello, back again. All right, so the biggest task was to um, remove as much paint from that, the bezel, as possible. I did all the sides, done some um, uh, edge work with a blade to get all the edges nice and sharp. I've taken out nearly all the scratches that was in in this. On the bottom, I built up the bottom with some uh, Tamiya putty, and this is a solvent-based putty. It sets very, very quickly, although we leave it for 24 hours. And what I've done is build up those those gouges on the bottom, and then I will run over that with a 2000 grit and make that flat. And that that pretty much is preparing now for the undercoat for the bezel I've cleaned this as much as possible there's not going to be a lot of um, a lot that I can do with this so um, probably the way we look at this is it's a rat rod type <laughs> uh, restoration I will put some clear over the top of that um, all of the knobs have been cleaned 
and the the facing surface has been faced and uh, polished the the screen so I've got out nearly all the scratches there we go it's very hard to to get a a look at that but it's come up very well all right so um, yeah, moving forward. Okay, here's the um, the bath that we're going to give the all of the controls. I'm going to leave this in here for probably overnight. We'll just come back and keep checking. This is just the area that I'm concerned about. But all I've done, all I do is I, I cut a um, just a one liter um, milk carton or something like that in half, and that gives me enough room to fill this as a bath. And then what I do is use various different cleaners um, and and gunk dissolvers, and just give everything a liberal a liberal coating. And this is a mix I just found over the years. Really is gentle. It has the has a fairly quick effect. I add some water in there. Um, I might even add some IPA. And there we go. Okay, painting's done.